Hey, Rico, can I just check one thing? You are seeing two screens right now, right? Two videos. Two oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. OK. OK. Let's get started, everybody. Okay, uh, let, let me start with a few announcements. Sorry? Um, so uh, on Monday the 19th, there will be a, hey guys, can I have your attention? Lindsay, can please have your attention? All right, so on Monday, uh, the event that happens at uh, 11.50 to 12.45, it's sort of a, a remembrance of COVID victims, uh, and it's an uh, all-university event. So they love the video so much, instead of having us be at the sort of the prelude waiting for the Zoom for people to join from 11.50 to 12, they said it'll be during the main part between, I, I don't know when it is. So it will be sometime in that middle area. So I sent a uh, link um, in the, on Canvas and the listserv. So please share that widely, OK? Um, next Wednesday, we have, a, uh, for our remote learners, uh, but we're kind of continuing our speaker series. But Richard O'Neill, uh, who is the um, Grammy winner for Best Instrumental Performance, is our guest. So I would really encourage all the violists, especially, to attend. Um, and then, of course, everybody's welcome to join, OK? Um, we're going to have two more guests after that on Wednesdays. Uh, 28th, it'll be Michelle De Russo, who's uh, the uh, next conductor taking my place. And then uh, after that, May 5th, will be Dennis Kim, and he's the uh, concertmaster of Pacific Symphony. So those will be Wednesdays, the uh, three remaining speakers. Okay. Um, uh, I don't have to go over the, the change in schedule of our recording sessions, right? Everybody understands that? Yeah? OK. All right. Uh, so today we'll be able to do uh, all three movements. Yeah, OK. Um, uh, Alex and I talked. We're going to do both repeats in the first movement uh, and both repeats in the second movement, but no repeat in the third movement. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody have a good day? Do you have a good day, Aiden? I don't know. I need to. Okay. <laughs> um, can you play A? That seems fine. Okay, let's start with the first movement of the Vivaldi. One more.
two things. Uh, in not so, you don't have to be so present, because we hear you plenty, right? So the pizzicatos are actually ringing louder than the amplified guitar, okay. right? Um, uh, Alex, it's one, so don't, don't yep. come in late there, yeah? Um, folks, in measure four and five, can we do a little echo effect there? So the, the A's are a little bit louder, and then the D's are a little bit softer. And I think uh, measure six, seven, eight could be a little more connected, right? It feels a little da da di da 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 di da da da. Yeah. One time, beginning. Is this tempo too fast? Uh, it's slower than I was. It's, it's a little too slow. Okay. A little slow. Yeah. Yeah. From what measure? Let's go a little faster. Beginning. Okay. Yeah. Three and four. <laughs> Four and da da ding da da ding echo echo yeah so let's if we're gonna do the echo fit let's really commit to it right so not, let's not forget that three and four is echo one two three four one two three four yeah okay one more time and three four. Remember, two before the double, uh, the repeat, we have another echo effect there. All right, so don't forget that. Uh, uh, Liam, can we do this? Uh, we go from before the repeat, one, two, three, four, fifth bar, when the eighth note begins, if uh, two cellos go to arco, okay? And then Liam, you join where it says crescendo, from the do, si, do, la, do, si, do, la. So we really add to that crescendo effect. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, so uh, cello, uh, both cellos will go to Arco at five before the uh, repeat sign, but uh, Liam, you'll go four before. Yeah. Um, mm. Strings, uh, make sure you're doing 34, right, we talked about resolving the D, right, as part of the one sentence, and then da -ba is a new phrase, right? That's, that's somehow getting lost in the shuffle, yeah, okay? If one person doesn't do it, we, we, we don't get that effect, yeah. Uh, can we do, um, before the end, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars. Nine before the end, this is the first time. Okay, 43. Two, three, and four. it again. So remember, we're putting on an echo effect there, right? So who, who knows where the echo effect is? Who's confused about where the echo effect is? Last two bars. So uh, it starts ya da 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 di da 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 and the second time is softer, right? So ya da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 dam pam pim pam pa, yeah? Because otherwise it's ya da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da da da. It's sort of Christmas, okay? Stop the Christmas music, okay. Uh, same place before the end. First time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars, 43. Two, three, and four. Uh -huh. F natural, come on. Two, three, and four. Yeah, so even there, Aiden, right? The, you have a circle of fifth there, G, C, F, B flat, E, A. So G, F, E are, are the more important notes, right? So, uh, so on top of trying to be accompanimental to Alex, right? So we don't want to draw attention to these notes. But when you have the, that G, F, E, you say G, F, E, uh, E, yeah? Then you bring those out, okay? 43, first time. Two, three, and. Okay, <laughs> sorry to stop again. So because we're gonna do a wrong time to the, at, at the end, you do not want to slow down this first time. Right? Don't signal any any sense that we're ending here. Yeah, don't slow down here. First time. Um, uh, last four bars. Last four bars. Two, three, and four. Oh, okay. Last four bars, Alex? Two, three, and four. Wait, from where? Last three or last four? Last four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two, three, and four. And. Two, and. Ya da di da ta and. Last cello bass. Dun T. If one person accents that third beat, it is all lost. The effect of trying to finish that phrase, that sentence. La G sharp A. Da 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 da. But if you go La G sharp A, then you've just said another sentence on top. So please don't accent that third beat. Um, Cellos, basses, could you play 26, uh, 27 with the pickup? And the dotted quarter is a little bit more shiver. Yum, party, party. Yeah? Two, three, and four. Yep, 
Yeah, but what's, what's coming across is the quarters are more important. It's a dotted quarters that's more emphatic. Do, pi, do, pi, bom, di, do, di, because it's spelling out C, D sharp, E, E sharp. That's the important note. Okay, one more time. Two, three, and four. Could you play with the pickup? Two, two, three, and four. Uh, C sharp, C sharp. Two, three, and four. So even there, the same thing that I just told the first seconds of violas, the uh, 29, F sharp is a finish of a phrase. Just like all of the rest of the figures. But what we're hearing is So Finish. You got to really take care of that. Okay, everybody. Here is after the repeat. Twenty-four. Second time. Two, three, and. Bravo! So I'm gonna just be All right. Uh, first second of violas. Uh, the C sharp is the more intense expressive note, and the D is the resolution note. So when you choose vibratos, which note would you use the vibrato, and which note would you use less vibrato? It shouldn't be senza. Right? But the C sharp should get a little more twinge of color. Right? So try to use vibrato as not on all the time, but you're really trying to be expressive, more expressive, more color on C sharp and less on D. C sharp, D. Right? Okay. Um, Shelly, better. But that pickup seems careless. Pick up to 27. Right? That eighth note, you got to really take care of. Anytime there are these eighth note pickups, it's, it's sort of a first word of a sentence. Right? So don't drop it like it's an, uh, like a pronoun. It's actually quite important. OK? Um, one more time, 24, first time. Wait, uh, first or second? I'm sorry, second time, second time. Thank you. Two, three, and four. OK, OK, OK. So, Alex, could you play that figure? Da -da -dum, da -da -dum, yeah, so there, there has to be a little bit of this explosive da -da 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 -da. but we're getting sort of a very gentle That's what we're getting. Instead, we should get yeah? So a little more, little more consonant. Two, three, and four. Yes. Bravo. And four. Dagadim. Resolve. Dararida. Bravo. Don't be shy there, folks. OK, bravo. Can we do 35 one more time? 35 one more time. So Alex, uh, you go into your lower range, the second phrase, no? Yeah. Yeah. So which one do you want to be louder? Uh, the first one. I, I, I agree. OK. Can we go from 35, please? Aiden, what is the most expressive note? Or oh, whoever's playing the quarter notes here. The A sharp. OK. OK. All right. 35, 2, 3, ah. Bravo. 
Oh, bravo. So, Alex, do you want to, do you want to go uh, a tad slow on the second phrase, which is quite expressive, but they, not, they have to know. Sorry? Do you want to go a tiny bit slower on the second phrase? Um, I'm fine playing it at pace. Like... Yeah, I think it's quite expressive, so it's okay, but we, we just need to know whether that's the case. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, all right. Um, folks, there's a big difference between uh, playing da da dum da, really knowing and following the uh, Alex's part, and then sort of going, you're out, and then go, crap, da da dum pa. where are we, right? So can you check in, right? Okay, here we go, 35. Uh, it's not that A sharp is louder, it that, it's just the color should be a little bit different. It should be bum, ba, bim, ba, bum, bim, bum, bim, yeah? Two, three, ah. Bravo. And go away, go away. Three and four. Again, everybody watch Kira, don't watch me, okay? And Kira, don't watch me. Okay, you lead. Uh, last four bars. So, Ronan, if you play that loudly, then Liam doesn't have, Liam should lead the crescendo when he comes in, okay? So calm down on the arco, okay? Uh, four before, four before the end, with the second time, four before the end. Two, three, and. That's great, yeah. Uh, maybe even a smidgen, tiny hairline more, yeah, okay? Let's go on, second movement. Actually, can we do the third movement? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I really want to make sure we get to it, because I want to make sure that everybody realizes uh, <laughs> the triplets are tricky, <laughs> okay? All right, how about, uh, maybe not up to tempo right now, but Triple, 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 triple. About that for now. Okay. Third movement. Two, three, ah. Ah. One cello, one cello. And. Yeah, no repeat, that's the third movement, right? We're doing both repeats in the first, first and second. No repeat in the third, third movement. So, uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth bar of the third movement, the second half, one cello, okay, until you see the forte, which is three bars before when the eighth note starts. Um, that's at uh, six. What? The third, seventy-six. Yes, third bar, third beat, yeah. Okay, and then after the repeat, one, two, three, um, from, the, from the D sharp, it's one cello, okay? And then one, two, three, four, four and a half bars. And then everybody comes in, second half of that bar. From the D, A, D, A, D, D, yeah? Okay, can we try with that one more time, please? Uh, when you have a triplet and it's D, da, right? The eighth note, the last triplet is, um, is going to get uh, an accent if you're not careful. And that's not what we want. We want dia, da, dia, da, we don't want that, right? We want dia, da, dia, da, dia. We want to kind of just nudge the third triplet away. Dia, da, dia, da, dia, da, dia. 
Yeah? Okay. Two, three, ah. Yeah. So that dotted quarter, if you do dia, da dia, da ta, feels un, un historically incorrect in time. It feels like that's more 19th century rather than 17th century. Yeah. Dia, da dia, da da. Maybe a quarter, but not a dotted quarter. Okay. All right. Here we go. Two, three, and four. And four. <laughs> yeah, okay. So every orchestra slows down on bar four and five, right? I don't know why, right? However, the second half of the bar is really expressive harmonically when the, with that one note change, right? Uh, a, B, G, A, F, G. Those are really expressive. Yeah? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, ah. Ah. G, ta, E, da. Yeah, it's expressive because the bass line stays the same. So uh, C sharp, A, B, G, A, G, and so on. So that second half, you've got to be more, more um, expressive. We slow down a lot on bar six and seven. So be careful of that, uh, your fatigue level, right? Okay, one time. Two, three, and four. Pizzicato there doesn't sound so good. So very light. A little bit of hook, right? Um, could we do before the repeat three bars where everybody comes back in? Uh, if, you, if you go full volume here, then we won't hear this arpeggio line Alex is playing. Alex, would you just mind playing that for the orchestra? Three before the repeat sign. So that's got to be heard, because otherwise the, the repeated notes can drown that out. Let's do everybody. Three before the repeat sign. Ready, one, and. And. OK, great, great, great. Two things, two things. Um, uh, so when we have that figure, dia, da, dia, da, dia, da, dia, da, there's a naturally space in between the beats, right? When you have ya, da, 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 di, 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 da, 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 there's naturally no space, right? So bring out when you change notes from G sharp to A. That's quite important, or B to C, okay? Or E to A, yeah? Celli and bass, that A sharp is really important because it's sort of a, a um, a bluesy note for Vivaldi, okay? All right, because it comes out of left turn, left field, all right? Uh, would you just play just cello bass and Alex after the repeat sign? Two, three, four. So that A sharp, it just feels like it's out of nowhere, like it goes left turn, right? So go ahead and bring that out, okay? 
And that's the moment where nobody plays. B2, they don't play. They play one, nothing two, three, four. OK? Same thing. 3D4 is a double, uh, double bar, repeat sign. Here we go. Two, three, and. Here. Here. And. Beat it. And. The continuo should always be a tad layer under the soloist. So that's a little too much. We're just doing one cello there, OK? After the repeat sign, please. Everybody? Two, three, and four. Because we're not doing the repeat, we should do a little bit. Da da pi da da pam pa. A little bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, I think we're a little heavy handed at uh, the eight before the end as well. So maybe, Liam, can you drop out and then come back in three before the end? OK. Um, uh, cellos, right there, you're pushing Alex a little bit. Alex is taking a little more time. OK, so make sure you're not, you're in sync with him. OK, can we do, we have two minutes. Uh, last, all right, after the repeat sign. OK, two, three, and. <laughs> Listen, one and two. Okay, now it's not in sync, right? So you have to really kind of catch Alex there, right? Even if he takes some extra time, right? Right there, eight before the end. Two, three, and. Sorry, sorry, eight before the end. Two, three, and. Uh, that's not yeah, eight before the end. It's where you have an E dot a quarter. Oh, yep, I see it. Two, three, four. Yeah, so the problem is that pick up to that phrase, you're not giving it exactly the right amount of time. You're kind of oh. rushing out of that. Dum, da, 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 and there's no way you can catch that. Okay? okay. One time. Two, three, four. Not bad. So Aiden, when you have the dotted quarter, that's when he has the da 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 da, di da da di da da. So you gotta kind of listen as you play the dotted quarter. Da 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 di da da, da di da di da da, da da di da da. Okay, everybody, eight before the end. Two, three, and. Alex, uh, we need to hear you play this a few times at the end, but we're out of time. Two things. Uh, this passage is a co constant back and forth. Somebody leads on one half the beat. So when Alex has da di da da di da, and you have da ba, he leads. Okay? When you have bum ba bum ba, and you have da 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 da, you kind of lead. Okay? Although he has more notes. So when you, Alex, when you have the repeated six triplets, da, 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 you have to kind of line up there with him. Okay. Right? So you're not sort of dominant there. You're more sort of equal. Right? But 
da di da 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 di da da. He might take time on those figures, right? Da di da 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 da. Then you get a dum, bum, di da da di da da dum, bum, dim, ba dim, ba da. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the lobby. Bring your parts. Let's go to the lobby. It was snowing this morning, so we're not going out there. We're staying here. Uh, can you just stay here because I'm going to talk about the piece. So, do you have your music? Yes. Hey guys, do you guys want to do this first or do, do, should I do the score study first?
Yeah, I want to just reiterate how important the board is uh, because a lot of things that the orchestra does wouldn't be possible without the board's involvement. So um, many of the uh, extra things that happen outside of the class environment because orchestra otherwise just becomes another class, right? So uh, uh, tours, for example, is something that is not within the context of a class. It, it, it can only happen if there's a healthy board that's been doing all of the activities to support the logistics and fundraising and all of that. And that, all of that involves keeping in touch with alumni uh, and having a healthy sort of connection with the alumni through newsletters and our activities. So having a really healthy board uh, allows the orchestra to do many, many different things that's outside the context of a classroom. So uh, um, we covered pretty much, uh, just stay, stick around for a second, because if they have questions, I want them to kind of come up to you and ask questions. Right? So in terms of score study, just make sure we've been, uh, you're writing down things, because I, I don't see people writing down stuff too much, uh, because otherwise we kind of keep repeating what we said in past rehearsals. Uh, so uh, at, whether it be echo spots or uh, cellos and basses, where you go to pits and, and all of that. right? Uh, make sure you've written down that first and second movement, we're doing both repeats, yeah? But the third movement, we're not doing any repeats, right? Um, yeah, I'll send you some notes tonight uh, on the Vivaldi, but if you have questions, our board members are here, so uh, feel free to talk to them, but we're back on stage at 5.45, okay? All right. All good, it's all good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you have things you want to talk to me about in terms of like, I mean. Uh, only thing is yeah. at, the end of, at the end of the first movement, yeah. um, what I've actually been doing and what my, one of my teachers told me to do is um, play it on the second go through, play it the, uh, the, um, this, uh, play this bit like at speed, then when you hit here, if you, we wanted to be like really dramatic, we could go like quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. 
and take that and make it act as like its own measure. Just those four uh, chords right there. Could you, could you just play that? Instead of doing, um, we do. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not sure that's. Um, Too dramatic. To make it more. To make it dramatic? Yeah, it's more of a, yeah. Mm. If we don't want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure I, 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 I'm on board with that, because uh, it's, it's one thing to put a rallentando and writ to make it more grand where there isn't one written, right? But to half the speed, I think that's taking too much license. OK, cool. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the third movement, um, um, do you want to want to take time, or do you want to not take time? Because I think w when we just did it, it uh, I wasn't sure what was happening. Uh, this part. Uh. Sorry, I don't have my. Da 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 di da di da. Uh, I haven't been taking time on that. Okay, so we don't have to take take, take time there. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Alex. Welcome. Hi. It's infinitely easier to practice when you have a, your sheet music. <laughs> yes. Has there ever been another guitar player, like an orchestra? Yeah, we've had uh, guitars before. Oh, you have? Mm. Everything, okay. And, uh, I guess we'll see you next All right. See you next week. Oh, and what did you say about changing the recording? What? The changing the date or the time of the recording? Um, so for Vivaldi and Bologna, it, it, nothing will change. Oh, uh, nothing changed? Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Yep.
Rico and Dania, can you guys hear me? Yep, yep. Are either of you interested in becoming a, a moderator for the upcoming Wednesday uh, guest speaker? It's uh, Richard O'Donnell, who's a Grammy winner. He's a violist. I would be interested. Daniel, would you, would you like to be the student moderator? Yes. yes. Okay, so I'll send you info uh, tonight on email, um, and maybe uh, uh, we can sign on maybe half uh, at the 4.30 mark and kind of organize that call on, on next Wednesday. How's that? Okay, that's great. Thank you. Hi, Joy. Hi. You don't have to be way back there. I kind of, I couldn't reach this side, so, but in terms of the where the stand is. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can be a little bit further out. Hey Gus, Hello. how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Um, is it more tricky to come later or in the beginning? Um, I have no traffic. Okay. Okay. Because there's quite a bit of audio setup in terms of amplification for Vivaldi, so I think it'll be easier if Vivaldi was first. Okay. Sounds good. Joy, do you have any preference otherwise? Okay, then I think I'm gonna put the balloon on the second half hour. Okay, yeah.
Okay, come on, guys.